What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Planet Base. We're gonna hop right back into a Planet Express. As usual. It's it's a usual thing now. I've gotten so used to doing it. And it's so funny because Planet Base is just one of those things that I can record and just, just done. Like I've I'm pretty good at getting getting Planet Base done. Yeah. Some people are concerned about my power storage over here being so snaky. And I'm gonna kinda fix that. Um, I'm really not that concerned about it because the only way that all of this will get shut off is if one of these two things gets hit. Well, technically right now one of these could also get hit, so I will do a redundancy there. And maybe even... okay, I can't get one there. But it would have to be one of these two that gets hit, and I think that power still transfers through them, even if they are hit. So, say, like for example, this one gets hit. I just realized I have an auto hotkey script running. One second. There we go. Auto hotkey script is off. When I hit F3, it uh, did ridiculous things. It was trying to click in a very specific area on my screen and type something very specific. But um, I believe that power still transfers through the connections, even if they're hit. I'm pretty sure that that's true. You have stuff for 40% commission. The only thing I'm willing to trade right now, again, is the starch. So I am going to trade away some starch just to get rid of it. Just like that. And in fact, let's, let's try to hit the limit here with how much starch I can trade. Just a little bit more. 62 starch. And then we will just bump all of this cash. All of the cash. Well, actually, I could trade for the carrier bot. Hold on. Carrier bot and some cash. Okay. That's... That's pretty good. Yeah, 62 for a carrier bot and some... and some... coins and some metal. Yeah. And let's see, you guys, none of these have a bioplastic. And I think the other one is over here? Yeah, none of them have bioplastic. I've spent a lot of my stuff getting more things that take bioplastic. And again, that's why I have the new processing over here. To, to sort of help alleviate that. Power storage is low. That was what I was trying to look at when I accidentally hit my auto hotkey script. That one was fun. Armed intruder has been detected. My guard should be able to handle this now. All eight of my armed armed guards is pretty pretty good. But the next thing on the list is gonna be power and a new starport. So I'm gonna toss up one of these all the way over here. Right, the dorm. That's what I was building. I remember now. Uh, it was over here that was the dead end, wasn't it? Yeah, this was the dead end, so you're gonna actually go right here. You can see, like, this is the very edge of the map here. And then to make some people feel better about my snaky connections, I'll put... ...you here. And I'll attach up to both. That'll be, that'll be a bit better. But we do need way more power to be able to get another starport. And another starport is something that I'm going to try to get for the ne for the last, um, 10 days. For the last 10 days, I'm going to try to have another starport. I probably should have got another one earlier, N to be entirely honest. It was something that was on my list, but I focused really hard on other things. Like, even now, my status is poor, and that's a morale issue. And it might be because I need another bar. Which is pretty crazy to say. But I think it is... I need another bar. This is a canteen. Yeah, this is the bar. And it's pretty much always being used. We got a meteor impact on that connection, which is fine. It's all connected up somewhere else. Uh, 
Yeah, it's really hard to keep all of their morale up. Like, actually, pretty, pretty hard. And I only have seven bots right now. And honestly, some people have told me to get more driller bots. I don't think I need more driller bots. I think I really do need just more carrier bots to help out with all of the day-to-day -day tasks. There's the multi-dome there and the multi-dome here. After... After the, the power gets built. After the power and all of that gets built, then I'll start looking at expanding more stuff in the multi-dome after the starport as well. In fact, we're just going to plop down the, the starport out here. There you go. They should go to these connections still. Uh, those... Jesus. Meteors are just pounding me right now. They should go to those two airlocks rather than this one down here. That's the other closest one. And we can slow this down a little bit. And we do have to fill up all of the beds here. I don't have enough beds for the amount of people that I have right now. It's pretty insane. But remember, even if I fail, I have that save to go back to. And I've pretty much decided, I said it in a channel update, I think this, they're going to go live on the same day, this one and the channel update. Basically, I'm not going to be doing Planet Base after this series. Which I know is going to make some people sad, but... I mean, I... I don't have anything else to do after this series. In Planet Base. Wow, you died due to combat wounds, really? I see. And I don't get your gun back. I wouldn't mind so much if I got your gun back. Yeah, so we're gonna have 10 days to get 120 people. That's pretty possible. If I fix all of the morale. If I can fix all of the morale, that's gonna be pretty possible. How's the oxygen in this area doing at night? 17%? It's on the verge of being too packed. Yeah, it's, it's like right there, where it's about to be too much. And I believe I tried out and I couldn't get... Oh yeah, I can get a cabin there. It's gonna destroy that TV. <laughs> Just kind of funny, but, you know. Power storage is low, we may have an outage. But the wind is picking up, so it may, it may help out a little bit there. Eh, no, we won't have an outage. Did we get this built? It's like two more metal away. Oh, we will have an outage for a second then. That was like the shorted, shortest outage possible. But yeah, my morale tanked. Like, morale is not easy to keep up with. And in fact, uh, where's that multi-dome? The first multi-dome, this multi-dome. Is there anywhere else I could have a TV in here? I don't think there is. I've, I've jam-packed everything in there, as much as possible. I think it's this multi-dome that's going to need more stuff. Can't get a plant in there. Look at you, can I get a pull-up bar on the side? I can't. Let's get two plants on the sides then. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Pretty good. Man, my storage. I have so much starch. But that's that's something that we knew that was going to happen. It always happens in my bases because I only go for pastas. Semiconductors can go up to five. If they want to start taking some metal for that, I'm fine with that. Another trading ship. Yeah, we're only going to be getting pretty much all trading ships because my... Um, my morale is so low. It's only morale right now. I've never had such an issue with morale, but it's certainly happening this time. But we have plenty of food. So it might be time for another bar. Which I personally think is insane. But there's the bar. Over here would be bad. Over here might be good. 
The only problem is I won't be able to attach up to my base and make the loop like that. But I think this might be a good area for a bar. It's probably a stupid idea, but hey. I'm good at doing that. I'm good at stupid ideas. I'm very good at that. But we still need more power incoming too. Twenty-two. Yeah, I think I can still get... Let's get one more wind. Where can I throw a wind? Let's toss a wind over here. Wind! Did it. Pretty good. And some people are cautioning me against expanding too fast. I have to expand fast. That's... I need space for all of the colonists. I can't not expand fast. That's not an option. So I'm sorry if you think that I'm expanding too fast. I don't have the choice to not expand too fast. Yeah. Also, for sake of um, power right now, I am going to turn off these for the night. These two things. I'm not going to be getting people anyways because I'm on poor status. Which is pretty bad because I'm in such- I'm in like the, the home stretch of getting getting my colonists. Actually, no, that can stay on dirty. Yeah, that can stay on dirty. But I'm on the very, very tail end of this, this achievement. So it sucks having to turn it off, but I think it's uh, necessary to turn it off. Status is starting to head upward again, though. Starting to go on up. And yeah, it's looking like turning those off was the right choice for the power. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Doesn't matter. Doesn't do anything to me. Power storage is critical. Yeah. So having those on, we probably would have powered out already. Which would have been possibly deadly. To, to the challenge, not necessarily to my base. I probably would have made it. Without... Without the power. But I think the challenge would have been a billion times harder. Also, they're doing that thing where they spread metal around again. That's pretty annoying. I'm going to keep those off for right now until... Oh, hey, we're in decent status. I'm going to turn those back on. <laughs> I was going to say, until I'm even able to get people, we're hovering on the edge of it. And it may just be base layout, too. I think I have all of the morale buildings they need. I think it's the base layout that's really hurting me right now, too. Sandstorm approaching soon, so we're going to have to yellow alert for that. Which, that is going to be pretty mean. Bar is built, connection to it isn't built, and it's not going to be built for a bit. And, yes, this connection never got built either. Pretty great. Pretty, pretty sweet. What? Really? You got hit? Man, I'm I'm losing more people than I'm letting in. I'm gonna fast forward through the sandstorm. I don't know if they can fix this from the inside. We're gonna save just to be sure it's not one of those bugged ones. We're gonna save just to make sure it isn't one of the bugged ones, because that does happen. Okay. You saw the people started piling up right there, which is fun. It's a fun way of dying. And it's about to be night. So I've heard, and I've never used this button realistically, I've heard this disables all non-necessary things, so... All things not necessary to survival are gonna be depowered for right now. So my power can start going back up. No alert. Yeah, so this is... Not the place that we want the base to be in. This is certainly not, and it's all because of morale. How are we doing in the middle of the night? Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to turn those things back on. Yeah. I, I have to be at a point that I know that if I turn it back on, I won't start powering out. So let's turn it on. 
Enable everything again. Yeah, see, I'm plummeting. Slow it down, turn these off. <sighs> yeah, it's the morale. The morale is the issue here. Morale is kicking my ass. Let's bump all of these down. Get a few watering places. You can go there, you can go there, and you can go there. Wow. Pretty, pretty rough. How's power doing? We might survive the night. Uh, no? No, we won't. Also, I have a gnarly bug bite on the back of my head. It is itching like hell. Disable. Yep, I had to disable again. Otherwise, I wasn't going to make it through the night without a full power outage, so I'd rather power out on my terms. And I think that'll get me through to the day. I think this will get me through to the day. But, wow, man, this is... This is rough. The second half is a lot rougher than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be smooth sailing the entire time through. You can see, even with all of my bar stuff, there's only there's only like four drinks at one time. They are violently throwing food into there to be happy. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's pretty brutal. Did the cabin ever get built? It did. So we will have a few people getting a little bit morale, more morale for, from cabins. Again, I've never needed cabins because morale has never been this big of an issue. I usually get to expand at my own pace so I can keep up with all of their stuff. Bar has no oxygen because so many people are over here. I want you to think about that. It has no oxygen because so many people are over there. And no, this is too rocky for me to expand there. I thought so. I was hoping it wasn't, but it definitely is. There's no way I can expand through this. And before someone says it, no, you can't place a mine here and then place another indoor building out there. It doesn't work that way. I've tried. Because people have asked me to do it multiple times. Did we really? Oh, I was going to say, did we really get a colonist ship? Because I don't deserve a colonist ship. Wow. I can't really trade for this. However, I can trade for something like this. This is some somewhat of a trade that I can do. Some metal, some bioplastic. The metal is going to allow me to get more power. Which will be plugged all the way over here. Just plug you in right there. Alright, it is turning night and we still didn't charge up all the way. I'm starting to think that I can't get the achievement on this one. I think I may have to start over from the save. I may have to start over from the save. I might have to not record multiple episodes of this and let you decide if I had to start over. I think I'll get close like this, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Yeah. I think it'll be close. I don't think I'll achieve it. My morale got annihilated. In a way I was not expecting. Jeez, the morale was a nightmare. Maybe the multi-dome should have went here and the storage should have went here with the biodome over here. Maybe that's how it should have went. I think the multi-dome is a bit far. Like, I need it better space throughout my base. And then the robotics facility, I had it, but it didn't really do anything for me for a long time. Huh. And everything's disabled, but, I mean, it doesn't matter when I have no wind. 
Even a little bit of wind would be better than no wind right now. I knew I said a little bit, but I mean a little bit more than that little bit. Enable everything. Yeah, you guys need to stay disabled. Why can't I click on you? Disable. Disable, disable. No, this is... Pretty sure this is a loss in terms of the, um, the achievement. This is gnarly. This is probably the second worst I've ever had a base. Look at my food right now, too. It's dreadful because the power keeps going out. They aren't able to keep up with all of the stuff. I'm in very poor status now. Yeah, I think this is this is not a winnable one. I'm gonna stop it right here and let me ask you what you think. I think I have to start over from where I got the achievement again. Yeah, I think I did poorly <laughs> on this. So, my name's Nagark, this is Planet Base, let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for watching.